hey guys welcome back to today's video in today's video we look at does google still approve free blogger template for adsense in 2024 and the answer is capital yes if you are new you're welcome to online income side also where we upload videos on how to make money online and how you can help set up your free blog and start making money with it so if you are new, I want to encourage you to subscribe, turn on notification bell so you don't miss our subsequent videos and also like this video, share with your friends so they can be part of the community. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. The question says, does Google still approve free blogger template for AdSense in 2024? And I said, the answer is capital yes. And if I want you to follow these steps that I've uh, prepared on the screen that you can see steps to prepare your blog for Google AdSense approval and it doesn't matter if you host your blog on blogger and especially on the free uh, blogger platform and also on WordPress whichever platform you use to host your blog Google AdSense will approve your blog on these conditions so as you can see steps to prepare your blog for google adsense approval i share this in my previous video i can show you so you can watch the video to understand everything what everything about setting your blog to get approved for adsense as you can see seven things like this video this particular video seven things your blog must have before google can approve your blog for adsense so you can watch that to uh, get everything you need to know on how to set your blog for google adsense approval now the first point here is there are many things to talk about but let me let me let me dissect this uh, seven points the first one is you must use responsive templates and in that video, I show you where to get uh, these responsive templates. And meanwhile, you are getting this for free. So if you watch the video, you, you get everything on this section. And if you want me to show you, you simply come to your new tab and search free blogger template. As you can see, you just search free blogger template on Google search. You click and you select this first one that comes up that shows blogger templates 2024 top best free new templates so when you click it it will take you to the site where you can get your premium blogger templates for seo which is responsive and so on so it does not matter the niche you want to go into you can always find the right template for your blog here and you get these templates for free so when you come to this site you you open the template you want and you can start using it you download customize and upload on your blog so let's take a look at this talked blogger template as you can see if you are interested in this template all you need to do is to click on download and you have it on your computer and you extract it then you get the template uploaded on your blog so if you are looking for these steps the details of these steps you can watch uh, some of my videos on this playlist when you come to playlist let me take you to playlist so when you come to playlist you come to these free blogger templates when you open it you can watch as many videos as possible that will help you to uh, get your site running for free online so guys so you only need to get free responsive templates before google adsense can approve your blog and it does not matter if you are hosting it for free that is if you are using it, if you are using an extension, if you are using Blogspot extension, it doesn't matter. Or you buy your domain 
a custom domain yourself. Whichever one you choose, Google AdSense will approve your blog if you follow all the, the all the steps in this tutorial. So the next thing is menu bar. Like I shared in the previous video, you have to uh, create your menu bar and put all the pages you want on your menu bar so your users can easily access the information they need on your blog. So the next one is the logo and favicon. I talked about that as well. And you can get that on this site as you can see on the screen. This is the logo. And the favicon for this site is this. And the favicon for the blogger site is this. So what you need to do is to get your logo and favicon running perfectly. And to get all this done, you can come to the playlist as well and watch the video that will help you to do that. Now let's proceed to the next one is Lega Pages. And that one is very, very simple that you must have pages like this. So let's scroll down to show you what the Lega Pages are. Privacy Policy, Times and Condition, Contact Us, About Us, and Disclaimer. And because I don't disclaimer on this site because I'm not selling anything, it's usually on e commerce site, so I limit the legal pages to these four. So if you can have these four on your blog, AdSense will definitely approve your blog, regardless of how you host your blog. And this applies to WordPress website as well. So let's look at the next one is social links. So you need to include social links as you can see. I have my YouTube here, my WhatsApp here. So also include your social link as you can see, my social media and those. Now the next one is to submit your site on Google Search Console. And I also explained this in the previous video why you need to submit your site on Google Search Console. If you, the, the essence is to get your site on Google Ads, Google database. If you want Google to suggest your, your blog or your content to users or readers online, then you need to submit your site on Google Search Console for indexing and crawling. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see this video too get every information you need about that this particular video and this one as well so let's proceed to the next one the next one which is the last one on this list is original human written content so the next one is the most the last one is the most important step you need to take on your blog except you are using um, a software website that doesn't require content on your blog then you can ignore that part but if you are coming up with blog that you publish articles often then you need to write human article original human written content on your blog and you need at least 30 articles before Google can consider your site for monetization and also you need to consider your traffic traffic is also another point traffic traffic source so as you can see traffic is also another vital step you must take so after you've written your content you don't want to read your content yourself you want people to read it people that search for information similar to what you do on your blog on your blog to search your content and read so how do you do that is by targeting your traffic source where you want uh, you have to drive traffic to your source to your blog so that users can engage your content so with this Google we establish the credibility of your blog then your assets can be approved for monetization. So the last one I will talk about in this tutorial is after the traffic, 
the next thing is to make sure you upload content often so don't limit your blog to 30 articles before you apply for AdSense. So you can write as many content as possible and make sure it is original human written content. So with these steps, if you can follow everything from number one to the last one, I can assure you that your site will uh, be monetized by Google AdSense and other AdSense alternative. So, if you are still disturbed about if Google will still approve your free blogger template for AdSense in 2024. So, I just leave the doubts and the answer is yes, Google will approve it. If you can follow all the steps discussed in this video. So I want to appreciate you guys for seeing the video to this time. Like this video, share with your friends so they can be part of the community. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, turn on notification bell so you don't miss our next video. So thank you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.